Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now today for my Try It Out Tuesday, we're going to make a card using this die set. This is from Spellbinders and it's called Cinch and Go Flowers 3. Um, it creates the most prettiest flowers you could imagine. Oh my goodness, I fell in love with this. Um, you get three dies, you get the floral and then you get the flower backing and then a leaf. You just layer them together to create a real dimensional flower. But look at this example. Oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. I thought I had to play with this. So today's card, we're only going to be making um, a card using dies. I thought that would be really fun. So we're just going to jump in. Now we're going to start off by um, coloring in our flowers with um, distress inks. I thought, so I'm just going to grab a piece of Nina cardstock and then I'm going to use just a few colors of Distress Ink. I'm going to use the Bundled Sage for the leaves, the Tattered Rose for my flowers, and then I'm also going to grab the Hickory Smoke just for a little bit of an accent. So just these three colors. Now if you don't want to do the Distress Ink, I think Pattern Papers would be gorgeous with this, or even Colored Cardstock would be fantastic. Now. I'm kind of just blotching my Distress inks on my white cardstock. I wanted kind of a variant of color. I wanted dark spots and light spots and white spots. So I just it was basically just dabbing the tattered rose on one side. Now for my leaves, I am going to use the Bundled Sage. So I'm just going to um, use the same panel. Later on, I ended up um, actually doing three of these panels because I wanted to create um, lots of flowers. So I'm just doing a little bit of shading and then I'm going to add a little bit of the tattered rose to the green just because I want that, that look, the shaded look. Now I'm going to add all my dyes and then I'm going to run that through my Big Shot. I'm actually going to cut out two of the leaves on this panel and then one of the leaf, um, the flower backing here. Once I have that done, um, you can see the color gradient that I was going for. I, w I really wanted some white areas on my flowers. Now, again, I'm going to do two more panels the same exact way um, with my Distress Inks. You know, heavy on some areas on the flowers and then a little lighter on the greenery. But here we have everything cut out. So I have five leaves, five flower backings, and then I did cut out three sets of the flowers. Now to attach my flowers, I'm going to use some brads. These are just brads I've had in my stash for a long time, and these are on the larger side. Any kind of size brads you could use. If you even have the brads that have the gems, I think it'd be gorgeous. But you just layer them together, smallest first, and then you gradually move to the largest. And then you add your back, your flower backing. You just fold open your brad. And then I'm going to I'm gonna actually really fold my brad and then it's going to help keep my flower um, fluffy. <laughs> and then you just cinch the flowers together to cre uh, create a beautiful 3D flower. This was so easy and so fun, but it created the most gorgeous card. I was so happy with the outcome. Now for this flower, I'm just going to use two of my flower petals. Then I'm going to add the flower um, greenery. You do a little squinching and this is going to create a smaller flower. What would be really pretty too guys if you want a vintage look you could um, distress the edges. Oh my goodness that would be gorgeous. But for this flower I'm going to add three petals. Now nah, I decided to add two. <laughs> and then the flower backing. I wanted to create uh, a multiple different sizes of flowers and it was so easy to do with um, for this card I made a flower with one of the petals with two of the petals with three of the petals and then with four of the petals so it just I wanted to see what they would look like but they all turned out beautiful you just want to make sure that your flowers when you layer them um, aren't layered on top of each other they're kind of um, um, shifted a little bit that way it just makes a real prettier flower and then for my last flower, I'm just using the one petal, adding the greenery, doing a little bit of squinching, opening the back of my brad. And when you open it up, um, I kind of butterflied it all the way up and it actually helps keep my flower together. 
So I thought that would be really pretty. So those are my flowers. Now we need to work on our background. I wanted to show you what they look like up close, but they are just so pretty. Okay. Now that's my panel I'm going to use. It's going to be slightly smaller than my card base. And then now I want to add a little bit of a, a dainty accent. So I have this, this is a Moroccan accent dye that's actually discontinued from Spellbinders. But any kind of border dye that you have will work fantastic. I'm going to cut out two of those using a piece of gold cardstock I have in my stash. I'm going to use this Spellbinders dye. And actually I checked before I use this and it is available. And guys, it's on sale for $5.99. And I'll leave a link below to where you can check it out. It comes with three sentiments. I chose the sentiment um, that says, with love. And I'm just punching it out. And again, using the gold cardstock. I think it's going to be a real nice accent to my card. I didn't forget to dot, um, grab my eye for the width. <laughs> Sometimes I forgot with all those little pieces. Now, I did cut out a strip of five and a half inch by half an inch of white cardstock. Now this is where I'm going to go in with my Hickory Smoke Distress Ink. It's just going to give me a little bit of a difference between um, my white cardstock. I just wanted something to stand out just slightly. So the Hickory Smoke worked perfect. Now I'm going to attach both of my borders to the left and right side of that distressed strip of paper. There. Lovely. I think that looks so pretty. Now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to add some foam tape behind here. We actually didn't need too much dimension on this card because the flowers were so bulky. In fact, this, um, you, you definitely probably couldn't send this through the mail, but this is more like a, a real pretty gift box card. <laughs> so I attached it to the left side of my panel. And I'm going to trim off the excess here. Once it, I should have used my longer scissors. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to arrange our little leaves. Oh no, we're going to add our sentiment. I thought if we added our sentiment first, then I can kind of build the flower around it. So first I'm going to add the width. And then I didn't forget my to dot my eye and then I added the love and I think that looks so pretty. Okay, um, using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, I'm just going to adhere my leaves kind of around my little lace border area here, how I think it looks the best. I like to kind of arrange them first and then glue them down. I think it's just easier for me and I think that's going to look wonderful. So again, I'm, and I, when I glue my leaves down, I'm just gluing basically the stem and then the bottom couple leaves. I didn't mind that the top leaves were kind of um, um, mobile. <laughs> so there's our leaves. Now we just need to attach our flowers. To attach the flowers, I decided to use some glue dots. These are super extra large ones. So I know that they're going to stick to my panel well and they're not going to go nowhere. And again, I'm just going to kind of squinch up my flowers and then I'm going to add a glue dot and then place it on my panel. I like to kind of place my flower first and then add my glue dot and then stick it down. <laughs> and then our last one, our little rosebud. We're going to add that. And I think that just looks so gorgeous and it was so, so easy. I, I still, when I look at the card, I think, wow, that's really neat. I think if you had a real pretty gift box and arranged those flowers on top of the gift box, I think it would be gorgeous. Now I'm going to attach my panel to an A2 size card base. This is a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. I'm just going to stick it with, um, down with my tape runner. And I know my center of the flowers were really bold with, with it being black. So I wanted to add a little bit of black. I actually wanted to do some splattering, but it was a little too late for that. So I took my black Tombow marker and I'm going to do a controlled splatter. <laughs> so I'm just adding dots 
as if it was ink splatters. And this is a great way to do a controlled splatter. So break out your marker and then um, add a few dots here and there and it will tie just everything together. And I think this card turned out so pretty. I hope you did too. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. I thank you so much for stopping by, guys. I wish you a fantastic day. And again, links will be in the description area or over on my blog. We'll see you again soon. Have a, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.